We're about to have a very interesting moment here on Get Up. There is one remaining unsigned five-star basketball recruit in this year's class. His name is R.J. Hampton. He is a 6'5 guard. He has offers from Duke, from Memphis, from Kentucky, and from Kansas. That's the final list, as you see on your screen, is Memphis, Kansas, and Texas Tech, and he is here with us live to discuss this. So first of all, RJ, welcome, and thank, thank you, you very much for coming. Great. I know this is an overwhelming moment, and before you make your announcement, can you just take us through what this process has been like for you? I mean, uh, throughout this whole process, uh, I've just stayed humble. My parents have really kept me humble, so that's been a good thing. And I mean, it's, just, it's been crazy. I mean, I didn't think it was going to be like this, but um, I'm just finally ready to make my decision, and I, and I think I have the right choice. Okay, well, so then let us hear it, because as we mentioned, mm -hmm. some of the biggest schools in the yes. country, Duke, Kansas, Kentucky, and other Thank you for doing that, are out there. <laughs> Go ahead, RJ, what have you decided you're going to do? Um, next year, uh, I will be going overseas uh, to play in the Australian Basketball League mm -hmm. with the New Zealand Breakers. Okay, All right. All right. All right. Yeah, feel free to get some money. I had, been, I had been given an indication this was a real possibility, and that was the primary yeah. reason I was interested in having you here, because this, this feels like a really big moment in, in this process, right? We've seen this happen on a smaller level with some different players in different circumstances, but we're talking about a young man who would have been completely academically eligible to play anywhere. This is not Emmanuel Moutier or anything like that. So tell us, what made you decide that going to Australia was a better option for you than going to one of these colleges? I just think my uh, my dream has never been to to play college basketball. My dream has always to be to get to the next level and to play in the NBA. So I mean, I think this was the best route for me uh, to to live like a pro and and play with grown men every day and and not kind of have to juggle books and basketball and just focus on my main goal. Jay, go ahead. You cover college basketball for us. What's your first thought here? Well, first off, I mean, I, I, I commend him because I think other kids should be looking at that option, especially for the team he's going to play with, the New Zealand Breakers with Matt Walsh. I've known him for a while. A very good team. Um, I, I wanted to ask you about, you had a tweet the other day. You said, uh, for some of us big-time players, uh, sometimes the media forgets that we're just teenagers in high school. Well, now that you're announcing that you're becoming an overseas pro, you're coming into that business world. How do you feel like this is going to better prepare you for that next step of your career? Uh, I feel like once I get to the next level, it's going to prepare me for all the other steps in life. I feel like uh, it's, it's time out for being baby. You're not in high school anymore, so you have to be a grown man. You're a pro now. There might be a 27, 28-year-old on the team with the family. So you just got to gotta live like a pro and act like a pro. And that's a huge experience, Greeny. I mean, that's what Luka Doncic, he has that experience coming over into the league right away. First off, I want to commend you on your maturity, your family has done a terrific job, and all of your coaches have working with you, putting yourself in this position. And it takes courage to do something out of the norm. We've seen what college basketball has done for certain players to elevate them, and we've seen college basketball take advantage of a lot of players. And you mentioned it. He had a 1280 on the SAT. Yeah. 3.7. He could have went to Duke. He could have went to Harvard. So what ultimately allowed you to feel comfortable with the fact that I'm not going to go play big-time college basketball. I'm going to start my journey playing professional overseas. I just wanted to kind of set the trend. Uh, I've never wanted to be normal, so I kind of wanted to set the trend for the younger guys coming up that, to show them, hey, this is not the only route you can take is college basketball. And I feel like uh, this is a much better route for me, um, not for everybody, but I think it's a better route for me. Happy Walters get you a good deal. We got a good deal over there in Australia. <laughs> oh, he's smiling. That means a good deal is coming, Happy. <laughs> you, you know, we will set aside some time for ourselves to talk about this here on our set. Again, this is your moment, and congratulations to you on doing it. But it really does feel as though there has been so much attention paid to the way that amateurism is currently handled by the NCAA. It does feel like there are tipping point moments in processes if things significant change is going to be made. And it felt to me when I first heard this was a possibility as though this could be one of those moments. Absolutely. And the word that comes to mind for me is trendsetter. Like he just talked about being the fact that he may blaze a trail for a lot of young people who didn't necessarily have the courage to take their abilities to go play professional basketball right out of high school. And it helps that his dad, Rod Hampton, played at SMU, played overseas. Having that collective experience together as a family, that's a unique trail. What it's will be a, your support structure? When you go to a college, obviously, they have all of that in place. You're going to go play for a pro team in another country. What, what will you have with you there to, to give you the support that you will need as, as you take this over there for this year? Well, I mean, my family's coming over there, so I'll have my mom, oh, my dad, great. and my brother. So I'll be living with them, and, and it's just going to be kind of like I'm at home, but I got to uh, – it's, 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 your basketball's a job now, so I got to go to work, and, and I got to um, just play basketball and, and pro now.
Well, his family is here. Come on over and give him a hug. Come on, yeah, come on in, y'all. Come on, celebrate this. Come on over. Congratulations to you. Really well done. It's a very nice moment, and it really could be a very interesting sign of things to come in the future. R.J. Hampton announcing live here on Get Up that he is eschewing all of these college offers and going to play professionally overseas.